discussion on mitral valve calcification noted on chest x-ray and mitral annular calcification with calcific mitral stenosis. X-ray chest PA view showing mitral valve calcification in severe rheumatic calcific mitral stenosis. The structures marked are as follows. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. 1. Aortic knuckle with intimal calcification known as first mughal. 2. Prominent main pulmonary artery segment known as second mughal. 3. Prominent left atrial appendage known as third mughal. 4. Calcification of mitral valve. 5. Elevated left bronchus feature of left atrial enlargement. 6. Double atrial contour border of enlarged left atrium shadow within shadow. 7. Right atrial border shifted to right suggestive of right atrial enlargement. In addition, left pulmonary artery can be seen descending from the main pulmonary artery within the cardiac shadow. Medial to that, the descending aorta can be seen to the left of the spine. Right pulmonary artery is also seen as a prominent structure descending from the right hilum. Upper lobe vessels are also a little prominent. Calcification of the mitral valve is seen only rarely these days as most persons with rheumatic mitral stenosis get operated before the valve becomes severely calcified. Only long-standing cases unfit for surgery due to other reasons can be noted to have such dense calcification on chest x-ray. Calcification on fluoroscopy and echocardiography can be seen more often. Left coronary angiogram showing calcification of aortic and mitral valves. LAD left anterior descending coronary artery. LCX left circumflex coronary artery. OM obtuse marginal branch of left circumflex coronary artery. Right coronary angiogram showing midarsia lesion as well as calcification of aortic and mitral valves. Mitral valve is located below and to the left of the line joining main pulmonary artery segment to the right cardiophrenic angle. Aortic valve is located above and to the right of this line. So calcifications and prosthetic valves in these locations can be identified with reference to this line in mind. Generally, calcification of mitral valve was part of rheumatic heart disease with long-standing mitral stenosis. But rheumatic mitral stenosis is gradually becoming a rarity with lower prevalence of rheumatic fever and its sequelae. Mitral annular calcification can extend to the base of the mitral leaflets, especially the posterior leaflet, and cause a gradient across the mitral valve. This form of mitral stenosis is distinct from rheumatic mitral stenosis. It has been called calcific or degenerative mitral stenosis. Risk factors for mitral annular calcification are advanced stage female gender and end stage renal disease. In rheumatic mitral stenosis, maximum narrowing is at the leaflet tips and associated with commissural fusion. In mitral annular calcification with mitral stenosis, the predominant narrowing is at the base of the mitral wall leaflets. Here is an important reference on mitral annular calcification with calcific mitral stenosis. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.